Hello, my name is Barry Levine. I'm from Glasgow Caledonian University in Scotland. Uh, Glasgow Caledonian University is one of the three universities in Glasgow. We have about 17,000 students. I'm a member of the uh, School of Health and Life Sciences and my own subject is social work, so I teach uh, on our social work courses here. Uh, I've been teaching here for about 10 years. Uh, prior to that, I was working in the social work field for almost 20 years uh, in a whole range of different settings. So um, I've been uh, doing the uh, COIL course this year, uh, and it's been highly enjoyable. Uh, and it's been good engaging with people uh, through this process. And what I'm looking at just now is trying to give a bit of a picture of what uh, my interests are and uh, hopefully use that as a basis to uh, try and uh, identify uh, people to work with uh, internationally. Um, as mentioned, uh, I teach social work here and we have been developing our international approach uh, with our students and we have some students who are um, uh, been mobile and gone to uh, other universities in uh, Europe for example. But uh, this is limited and the number of opportunities are limited and we want to maximize the opportunities for our students. Therefore this approach uh, using uh, online collaboration uh, seems to me to be a really uh, good idea and uh, a good initiative. Um, it fits with some of our teaching approaches here. Uh, we're keen to try and uh, look at approaches like flipping the, cl the, flipping the classroom uh, so we're not uh, purely uh, standing talking at students, but engage with students in different ways, more interactively, and get students to engage with other students. So the kind of thing that we're uh, thinking of here is, uh, and would fit probably with social work, is looking at comparative approaches to welfare. Um, I think uh, allowing students, either from our postgraduate or undergraduate courses, to work with students uh, elsewhere uh, could be uh, really exciting in allowing them to compare and contrast how uh, different welfare systems operate, uh, compare and contrast uh, responses to social issues, anything from uh, drug use, for example, uh, responses to migration are just two that kind of, you know, come into my mind immediately, which are very current and, uh, uh, and live. And obviously, um, that could be standalone, it could be part of within a module, probably. Uh, we run various modules or courses, we call them, uh, here which could fit with this approach um, and it could be either uh, as a non-assessed component or even potentially longer term as part of uh, an assessed component within a module. That's very much open to discussion. So I think uh, in terms of what uh, would be good from our point of view would be to try and identify uh, people out there, uh, possibly from the social work field and that would, that would fit well but it could be from other fields like sociology, history, other approaches too, um, to uh, discuss the uh, possibilities. Uh, in that respect, our students are fairly monolingual uh, in the sense that they speak English uh, quite well, um, although it is Glasgow and people do spend to speak, tend to speak very quickly here, so please tell us to slow down. Um, but probably we're looking at um, uh, other other locations where English is the uh, is is spoken, I think to try and engage with uh, other places where English was not one of the kind of main teaching mediums, I think could be problematic and could uh, slow things down. So that's probably one of the only stipulations that we would have is uh, trying to uh, look at that kind of you know sort of uh, response. So maybe that's enough from me just now, uh, which gives a bit of a picture of what we do here. Um, I'd be very happy to carry on the discussion with uh, someone uh, or some people uh, if there's more, uh, because this could be more than one uh, set of collaborations, and look to see where we take this in the future. It's been really good and enjoyable uh, working with uh, the COIL uh, Centre, and uh, hopefully this will be a springboard for uh, some really exciting initiatives. So, look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.